Hey, Chris, thank you so much for jumping over here and talking to me about branding and our audience as well. I, uh, you know, I wanted to bring over here to you can jumpstart our mini series. We're going to talk about email marketing, self-care for entrepreneurs, but more importantly is branding. This is the first thing I did when I created the business. I still do my branding and try to make it better every time we, you know, every day and every time. But I just wanted to go, well, hey, we have some people coming in as well. But yeah, I wanted you to introduce yourself a little bit. Tell us what you do, who you help, who are your people. I know you've done my uh, podcast cover and a lot of other ones, but I know you do a lot more than just uh, podcast covers. Yeah, cool. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate you uh, bringing me on today. And yeah, super excited to talk about branding. I could talk about this all day. I and, know. Uh, <laughs> me too. I love it. Me too. Right. Um, but yeah, you know, as far as me, you know, uh, briefly, you know, I'm I'm a corporate dropout, probably like most of your audience. You know, I, I started in the corporate world as a, a creative director for uh, an eight figure company, and just seeing the effects of branding with them uh, and the impact it was helping them um, just show up in a lot in a in a more confident way, and that just took their business to the next level. So we, we kind of look at branding as like the last thing on the priority list. I'm going to wait until I you know, become successful, then I'm going to invest in my branding. It's quite the opposite. It's backwards thinking. And um, today, now I'm working with some of the most influential entrepreneurs, you know, you as well, working on your podcast cover, some other things, working with um, TEDx speakers, authors. Love it. Like that. So um, making the shift from the corporate world to the online space has just been amazing because now I can really um, – take my expertise and kind of guide other entrepreneurs because again, branding is not really talked about um, really as, as a principle in your business. It's kind of like, you know, it's when, when you get to a certain point, now you can focus on branding. Exactly. And, and that, I, and I, that's look, I mean, our focus is to help entrepreneurs grow their business. That's what I do. That's what 90X is all about is really helping entrepreneurs grow their business. That's the people that I spend time with. And I mean, for me, branding was the first thing, one of the first things I focused on because I know it's going to, you want to start right from the beginning, right? You, do, you don't want to like, let me build this whole house and then I'll think about what colors I want to do and what landscape and what, friend, like, I mean, you got to have the whole thing. What's the brand? How is it going to stand out? You know, and I love what you do, uh, but I also get it because a lot of people, like, I'll do that later. Let me just, let me just get going. Let me just drive, and then eventually I'll decide where I want it to go, but let me just get going first, right? I mean, does it happen to you with your people that you work with? Absolutely. I mean, it, 9 out of 10, you know, businesses that I work with, whether they're, uh, you know, five to seven figures, um, they're coming to me to up-level their branding. So they're coming to me because they, they realize now they really do need to focus on their brand. Yes. And this is something that they feel that they should have done in the, in the beginning because it really creates the foundation of your business and the presence you're having everywhere. So 100%. So creating that foundation now just makes everything else so much easier when you're creating content, creating products, um, master class names, you know, different, everything that you're creating, you kind of have a, a place to reference and that's your, your brand identity. Yeah, no, and, and I love that because like I said, that's what we help people doing. Obviously, obviously, guys that are listening right now and the people that are going to join later as well, if you have any questions, make sure you ask us a question. I forgot about that so we can answer anything. But we are here to just talk about the branding because I, I, I see the mistake that most entrepreneurs do is they do it later. They focus on, let me create my sales page, let me do this. But if you don't have the colors and everything, and for us, from our email, through our logo, through our packaging, through everything, we focus on our brand and our logo and the colors because we want everything to match across the board. So when people see your stuff, they automatically know it's you, you know, and, and I love that. And I mean, I'm going to give you an example, Chris. I know it doesn't, has nothing to do, but I was, I uh, was on Kayla's craft mommy millionaire podcast today it was released today and somebody shared that. And what she shared is, I can't believe this is a lawn. I try to book my wedding with him back in 2011 and he was unavailable. I mean, and now we're 2019. Now, I don't know this person personally because she never did the wedding with me. But she remembered me, not just by my name, but also by the colors and everything else. And that's something that left an impact for over eight years. Imagine that. Because they recognized me and like, oh, now he's created a planner. He's creating this. And I know that's what you help people do is create 
their brand and help them stand out. So, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I mean, for me, it's huge. For me, it's like pff, job accomplished, you know. But I mean, and that's what we help people do. Is like the brand is everything. And I see so many people. I see so many people, and I'm not going to mention your name, but I see so many people do that mistake. They go to Fiverr. They go to 99 Designs or Signals, whatever that's called. Uh, they go to uh, Upwork. Mm -hmm. They spend 20, 30 bucks on their logo, and they think, "Got it. I have my brand. It's perfect." Now this is it. Like, <laughs> I know it doesn't happen like that because I've spent th tens of thousands of dollars. What do you say to those people? I'm not saying go spend a hundred thousand or twenty thousand, thirty thousand. But how can we help those people to show them a different way that it could be done? Because not everybody has ten thousand dollars to spend on their logo, right? Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the best thing is to get clear on you know what I call your visual vibe and also your messaging. So. Getting clear on your messaging is number one. So you know who you're talking to, you know what your products are about, why are you different than other people, and then we need to bring those those things to life through visuals. And like you said, you know, um, when you're consistent, you become memorable. And if you're inconsistent, you're confusing. So if you're going to Fiverr or anywhere, and you're kind of getting new designers here and there, and they don't even have a clear direction, they are confused. And so if they're confused, that means you're confused. And if you're confused, your audience is confused. So basically, you're going to kind of be running into the cycle uh, of confusion and Canva hacking your way um, to success, I guess. But what happens is, is um, where you want to start is definitely um, creating a foundation for your brand identity. And, and what I mean by brand identity, this is just, um, you know, the fundamentals of what your brand is about. You know, yes. the who, what, why, and, and how. And then, like I said, then we can look at the colors, the fonts, things like that. And just sticking to those things are going to make it much more easier creating content. You know, I mean, I love what you just said, because for us in our business, the first thing that comes in our pyramid is the person we're talking to. That one person we're talking to. And then the second thing is, as you know, is the message. What's the message that we want to bring across? So a lot of people get it confused, but I mean... It's very important. Your messaging is part of your branding. It should line up. Like it should just definitely line up. So you don't have to go spend time on messaging. You could do it directly with the branding part. So for us, you know, that was huge because once we figured that part, the message, now we know, you know, what's the second? How, how do we go from there again? So it's got the messaging done. We're good. I mean, it doesn't stop there. But I mean, I know the benefits of having a good brand, a recognizable brand. The messaging lines up. Also, if I want to hire other people, like I like I hired you to do our uh, podcast cover, which my podcast should be out soon. Um, how easy was it for you to to get going and continue the same brand? Where if somebody was so confusing and had this, this, and that, you kind of have to start from the beginning, right? Uh, was it easy for you? I, I don't know. I'm giving myself a thing, but I, I, <laughs> I think it was kind of easy for you too. What do you yeah. think? Absolutely, because look, you already had the ingredients for me to use. So what happens is, is you already have the elements that I can use to create anything. And whatever I create, it's going to be on brand because I'm using your ingredients to your brand. So you, re so when I talk about your brand identity and things like that, you really want to have like a, a brand blueprint. And this is what I talk about inside the membership, pretty much on every call, is we dive deeper on how to start creating your brand blueprint so that. It aligns to your message. And if we look at the message, because we hear that, you know, quote unquote messaging and a lot yes. of people don't even understand what that even means. Nope. So to kind of just simplify what messaging is and what your messaging for your brand is, is really how you're positioning yourself with your with your copy and with basically how are you different and why are you here to serve a specific group? Um, Correct. So if we look at Tesla, uh, you know, their messaging is all about being forward thinkers and disrupting a space, right? They're disrupting the automotive space and they're kind of becoming the leaders in that space. So when you think of Tesla, you already think of electric vehicles. You're not thinking of um, SUVs or a specific type of vehicle. You're thinking as the leader in that, that industry. So that's what you want to do when you're thinking about your, your messaging. How can you um, shift yourself and position yourself as a leader by stating what makes you unique and different 100 it goes up it also aligns up with your core values and everything else to really help to bring that out 
Uh, and by the way, if I didn't mention this, Chris is a coach in our 90X business community. He does a coach every month. It talks about branding. So it definitely helped everybody and our members that show up uh, and want to learn. I mean, that's part of, of what we offer as well in our community. And that's why I brought him over here as well. But I love that. I mean, it's not just about the message, the slogan, I got it done. I mean, and I in the chat over here for you guys that are listening, let me know. What do you guys think about your branding? You think it's 100% down, 25% down? You want to get it done completely? Me, throw something at me. I would love to know what you guys are in your branding because I know for us, I could say that 95%, 90% down with my branding because every time I pop something new, it's easy for me to tie. But there's always a little bit more uh, to change. And it's funny, even things move, shifted to me, even though we've only been in business for three years, two years, actually, full time, one year. <laughs> but mm -hmm. we moved our logo a little bit across every time. So it definitely... Uh, I love that. You know, I mean, you can still you don't have to wait 20 years for you to see that evolution. You know, you can always try to refine and make it better. But, you know, so so definitely let me know where you guys are in your branding. Branding is important to you because some people think uh, so. Rio over here, she's a member actually with us in the process of rebranding and moving completely from a different induction. She somebody said 80 percent done. So I'm going to look. We'll see who that is. But Brie is actually a member in our community. And that's exactly it's like. In the process of rebranding now, Chris, I know you have a great thing about people that, okay, if you even started on the left direction and everything is messed up and the message is not right, it's okay because you at least you got started. So I'm going to give you that. You at least got started. Most people don't even do that. Second, I love what Chris says. Like, hey, this is an opportunity for you to do a grand reopening of mm. your store or whatever it is. So when you do a rebranding, don't look at it like, oh, I got to do that. Now that you know that you have to rebrand, right? And correct me, Chris, if I'm wrong. Yeah. It's an opportunity for you to do a grand reopening, right? So how would you position that for people who said, hey, I went to the Fivers, Upwork, 99 Signals or whatever. I just picked something because I had to get going. Fine. It's okay. At least you got going. But where, where, what do you, how do we help those people that want to rebrand right now? Yeah. So I look at, you know, and this this is so common with even large large businesses. McDonald's just rebranded, going from the yellow and red to now like a black, gray, and yellow. They're they're modernizing because because the world around them is modernizing, and yes. they're feeling like they need to uh, evolve as a brand. So your brand is always evolving year after year. You can make mm -hmm. these subtle tweaks. Now, if you're looking to rebrand and kind of do a complete 180. Look at where your brand has, where you've outgrown your branding. Does your brand, uh, at the time, were you, uh, you know, charging less? So it kind of looked uh, more casual and now you're charging more. So you have higher ticket items and things like that. How can you elevate the look of that so that it reflects the value that you're providing? That's what branding, all branding does really is to show, you're really provide, you're showing the value that you provide with the look and feel of your brand especially with your messaging and, and, and the look of, you know, the imagery, logo, everything else. Um, so where you would want to start is look at where you, where you're, where you have shifted um, and where you can start to, um, again, create imagery that reflects the new value, like this, this newer level. And so that, that's where I would start, you know, kind of making a list of, of things that, um, again, set you apart now than, than before. Nice. Um, has your price changed? Uh, has the quality changed? W what has changed in your business? Has your clientele changed? Are you now trying to attract different type of people? And so all of these things matter when you're starting to rebrand because um, I've done a lot of rebrands and, and what we kind of do as well is we, we look at what are some of the legacy elements that we can bring over so that your brand doesn't look completely different. So if we look at McDonald's, for example, you know they kept the yellow, they just yes. dropped, dropped the red, added the black and gray. So yes. the yellow was a legacy color for them, right? So that if you're rebranding, you're talking to a designer, you know what are some of these elements that you can bring over so that people still recognize your brand, but that you can you know, up level visually. 100%. Look, I mean, you touch about so many, so many things over here and so many comments coming in and some people saying 80% something I'm coming, I'm changing some Roger, which is also a member. I think he said something about branding, help me stay inspired and not give up, keep believing in my vision. So I love that as well. A lot of people said great points. There's a lot of members over here existing as well. So definitely I love that. Uh, there, 
I wanted I wanted to bring something about you, you know about having a strong brand. Now it could be a brand, it could be it could be a product, but it, it has to be everything together. When we first created 90X, and this is not about 90X, but I want to show you, in my opinion, what the brand should be. Is when we first launched 90X, I didn't have any users, no email list, no people. We created the I created the planner in my garage, and we just put it out there. Two years afterwards, today, about a month ago, I decided to create the new launch planner by 90X. Give it another name using the same logo, same font, different color. Everything lines up. But this is the power of having a great message and a brand, in my opinion. I now went back to my people and I posted. And I said, hey, guys, I want to do this. A paragraph. This is what I want to do. What do you guys think? Two days after, over 250 comments. 250 comments about what should be included, about the idea. Everybody said they loved it. And that, for me, is a powerful brand. Mm -hmm. Not as big as Apple or Amazon. Yeah, fine. But we're all doing it in a way we have to compare ourselves to ourselves, I guess. But I loved that the audience resonated. They remember the name. And then when I put it that and when I included it, I mean, we got so many comments. And I think once you have your messaging, your brand, your alignment, your core values, it all ties in together. It's not about get my logo. I'm good to go. It's not about the logo. If most of you guys thinking it's just creating a logo, then you guys are in for a long, long run. It's not about the logo. The logo is just maybe a small thing for you to pop and be recognizable. But remember, it's like a photo that you can put and just swipes up. But it, it's a lot more than that because now people recognize our product by our fonts, right? By our colors. I didn't even think about that when I created it. But I hired a great, great graphic designer that understands what branding is. And I didn't go to Fiverr. I didn't, and I'm not saying anything bad about anybody. I'm just saying this is what we did and how that impacted and how that's helping us. And and I know that's the difference. When I went to Chris and said, hey, Chris, do my cover for my podcast, two revisions, three revisions, we were done. It wasn't back and forth. It wasn't like months of work and whatever. He already got the colors. He got the this. He tied it all together, gave it a fresh look, and then let's send it out to the racing. But that's, that's in my opinion, why that's so important. And I want people to spend time on their message and branding before they even want to launch their website. Because, you know, what are you going to do if you don't have that stuff? Like, I mean, we do a lot of custom planners. Mm -hmm. You know that. And most people can't go going because they don't have the logo. They have a business. They have a membership. They're starting something, but don't even have a logo to put on the cover. <laughs> that that like it's like what, what do you say a book without a cover? Uh, you know that uh, that metaphor about the book and the cover. <laughs> but it's like yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and to that point, as as far as like using Fiverr, Nine Nine Designs, any of those, look, that's fine. You can definitely use those. Um, whatever platform, hire any designer. But as a designer. We need direction. We we need to know what you want created. And what happens a lot of times is when the when the business owner doesn't know what they want, and they just and they pass and they hire a designer, they get back exactly what they don't want. And so now they, they blame it on the designer and they're saying, Hey, you didn't you didn't create what I wanted. Well, the, the designer didn't really have much to work from. So this is what we're talking about. When you can start to create a brand foundation, you can hire anybody. And that makes it so much easier for the designer because now they have the ingredients to create something that's always going to be on brand. So whether it's five or 99 designs or wherever, um, you know, designers definitely need, uh, you know, a foundation to, to pull from a reference. Yes. Point. And so if we don't have that, we, we can't really create what you want. And basically what happens is we, we end up guessing and, um, that takes a lot of time for you and for the designer. Like you're saying, we didn't have to guess because I already knew the ingredients to your brand and I can just mix those up in a certain way, present them to you. You go, this is totally us. Cool. Because I have the things I need to create with. Um, so that's where a lot of people spend a lot of time either in Canva or whatever program you're working with, or even hiring back forth that you're not clear on your brand, your branding elements, your branding ingredients. Yeah, no, I love that. I mean, those are great points. And we get a lot of people over here that are listening and, and commenting. So, I mean, it resonates with everybody. And like I said, I mean, guys, it's like selling a book without any cover. <laughs> that's that's what I look at when people say, I'm ready to, to launch my thing, but I'm going to sell the book without any cover. And I know none of you guys would do that. So definitely spend time with your branding. Hire an expert 
Chris over here, obviously, I'm always going to recommend Chris because, I mean, he's the guy I go to uh, for all our vending over here in the U.S., so definitely that's the guy. But, I mean, regardless, don't don't say I'm going to do it later because you're going to just find yourself doing it over and over and over and over again until you get this right and you don't need tens of thousands of dollars, but that's how important it is to grow your business is to really understand the messaging behind it. In my opinion, I mean, James said that many times, our coach, I mean, there's four things. You need your team. You need to know your numbers. You need to know your message and your offer. Message and your offer is going to land on your branding because once you have the message right, you can put it into the words and everything. I remember even when I sent you the podcast stuff, he said, hey, guy, I, I need that I need that font. I need those fonts that you created. You didn't give up. And I just said, ah, just create almost everything. I said, no, 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 I need the fonts. I had to go back to my original designer to find those fonts. That's how important. And I just love that you kept on going because everything is lining up, not just the colors, but even the fonts. Right. That's how important that is. But give me give me something for people that I was like, okay, you got me. I, I don't want to do Fiverr. I don't want to. Wh where do I start? Before I call you, Chris, and I say, hey, Chris, what do you want from me? What real estate do I need to bring with me? What information do they need to gather to give it to you so it makes your job easier to create, to then turn around and give them a better product? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, where I always prefer is having what I call a brand style guide. This is your, bland, your brand blueprint. So this includes, you know, all the different logos that you have, you know, horizontal, vertical, your color codes, your fonts, if you have any patterns, um, some imagery that, that I could use. So again, these are all the, the ingredients. Just think of it as ingredients. And this brand style guide is kind of like your cookbook. You have everything there, and so you can pass that on to a designer, and whoever you hire, it's gonna look great. It's gonna look consistent because they know, you know what guidelines to, to stick within. Um, so I, you know, this is something I even teach my, my clients and students is that we need to get clear and define these things before we even start creating. Otherwise, again, we're just guessing. 100%. So, yeah. So before, so before I even take on a client, that's what I ask for. It's like, do you have any brand guidelines? Like, what, what? Do you have your logo? Do you have your colors? Do you have your fonts? Again, all of these things, because that's what we're going to be using to create something. Yes. Um, so that that's the first thing. Now, if you don't have any of those things, and it's kind of mix matched. Um, you got, you know, one designer created some stuff over here. You're using 20 different colors. You pick a font every time you get into Canva. <laughs> we need to slow down and stop right yes, there and start, to, and start to define these things and then just stick with those things moving forward. Um, again, otherwise, you're going to be spending so much time with that back and forth, either with yourself if you're creating this or with the designer because there's, there's too many options. There's too many things you're – trying to use so yeah no roger over here is a member as well you know roger is a member in our 90x business community he's asking do you have any brainstorm ideas i know there's a lot of stuff of it already in the calls that we presented so maybe you can throw something in there but i also want to mention something about something you said in our podcast cover we created like the, the words right we added mindset business and impact and even those words were like okay what is this podcast going to be about Right. I mean, it's not OK. So now he has the logo. Great. That didn't help him. We we came up with the 90, 90 X Mastery podcast. But after we brainstorm and thought about some things. Right. So we have the mastery. We have mindset because we change people's transformation mindset, how they think business. We help people's businesses grow. And the impact is the impact that 90 X leads for people that actually use the journal and change, see their life difference. So we had a message that we want to communicate through those words. Right. So I wanted to make sure, you know, I appreciate you doing that because it's important. And I want to point this to the audience, the people that are listening now and later. Those are important. It's not about just throwing a face and a logo and some fonts and saying, great, here you go. Because that's what most people see on the top. That's what they see. Right. They don't see everything we had in the bottom to get to that position of showing that stuff. That's how important. So when you look at your business, really spend the time about the messaging and the person that one person you're talking to and want to impact and help because if not you're just throwing some letters and some words and hoping that you're going to get something out of it and help somebody maybe along the way right i mean i, I know that's what yeah. we went through and i would say you know as the business owner uh, as the digital ceo of your business understanding your brand is is essential to growing your business um 
because if you're kind of relying on a designer again to kind of guess or make make up your brand like it's going to be harder for you to clearly communicate why you're the best fit for your audience why your products and services are the best fit for your audience so i highly suggest going through a process again this is something that we do inside the membership but going through a process where you can um have someone guide you to create a brand foundation um that way again as you start growing and, and start uh, positioning yourself in your industry in your niche it's a lot easier because you're not having to figure that all that out as you go at least you have a foundation to, to work from so it's it's imperative as, as a business owner to really get clear on your brand identity because that's going to definitely help i mean look at for you example for you as an example um you went through that process you got clear on the branding oh, yeah. and you've grown in two plus years rapidly why because you're you clearly communicate what you wanted to do you can clearly communicate your vision and all of that type of stuff but um and it's also okay to get clear as you go absolutely because so, it's completely okay you're yeah. going to gain more clarity as you go yes. but what i'm saying is like if you just kind of take a step back and kind of create a foundation here it's so like building a house right you create yeah. that foundation and just define few of these things um it's a lot easier to to move forward with creating content creating products and everything else yeah no i appreciate it. i mean that's important and you know um there's a lot of ways there's a lot of tools but i mean really this whole call was about like your brand we starting a business or you rebranding like you know Bree said over here and she uh, use some designseeds.com. I guess that's a tool to to look at colors and stuff like that. I know you mentioned a lot of different stuff that you teach our members in 90X as well. But I mean, there's a lot of members of here too. But it's it's really think about your messaging. How can you make it better? And oh, don't be scared about always trying and trying, trying to make it better. And for me, it was, was essential to do that from the beginning because I already knew the power. Even in my photography, which the photos speak for themselves, but it was important for me that the logo will stand out. Like I had the A, that was my logo with the green dot. That was my thing. And everybody that saw that knew automatically that this is a long day of photography. A lot of try to, people try to make fun and, and thought it was Amazon because they had the, the, the A to Z kind of thing. But, but it was all about standing out. Even if they mistake it with Amazon, I love it because they're mistaking it with something very, very high. You know, but it was all about creating that A for me and creating that logo that 10 years later, people see, of course, it came through my images, even that keeping consistent. So I, for me, branding is the, the number one. And I wish I could hire and have a graphic designer sitting over here next to me all the time, just putting all the stuff together because there's so much you can do. Mm -hmm. But really, I'm encouraging you guys as the listeners, don't wait to... Oh, I can't do this right now, so I'll do it next year. I'll, I'll first I'll launch. You don't sell the book without the cover. You just can't. You just can't unless you're setting a PDF. But even the PDF should have an intro with your logo with your information. Mm -hmm. But even that, like you should really have your information tied in. And for me, it's like that was the most important thing. So that's like I said, but and a lot of people in our members understand that now uh, that it takes, you know, it takes time and it's okay to start small, but your logo is not your brand. So don't confuse yourself. And I, right. I really, because uh, I really, Chris, I really think that people think that. Like, yeah, I got yeah. a logo, I'm good. Well, exactly. And, and because that's the first thing that uh, people either, you know, assume or see um, and recognize. That's a, that's a big thing. If you can recognize someone's logo, you think that's the whole brand. But the logo is really like the cherry on the sundae, right? That's, that's the, you can put your logo on, you know, photos and things like that. And that just shows that you own that thing. It shows, and it's easier to be recognized and memorable with, with that logo. But there's a lot of things that go into that logo mm -hmm. and into developing again, your brand identity. Mm -hmm. And from the one thing I would suggest from this call is just look up brand identity. Like, what does that mean? And you kind of look at, you know, maybe watching YouTube videos, but just kind of get an understanding of familiar yourself with, branding because that's going to help you I, I you know i i believe definitely in, in growing a lot quicker because now you can become recognizable memorable and consistent and all of those things really help an audience because 
our attention span is uh, getting less and less as we go, right? 100%. Yeah. Every day. So um, if you're looking random everywhere you are, people are just going to kind of look, uh, overlook you and uh, you become invisible and, be, and being invisible keeps you broke as a business. Yeah. So, so this is why branding is so important because you want to become consistent, memorable, and recognizable in your space. Um, so that, and just make it easy on, on your on your audience. No, I love that. And, and you know what? I mean, you said something that's key. I mean, today's world, you know, you got to live. You, you got to leave that that impact really, really quick because there are so many messages running from all direction, from Facebook to Instagram, to YouTube, to Pinterest, to whatever. Uh, and I only follow a certain brands that I admire because when I see this stuff and, and it's if I can see the stuff without the logo and I know that it's theirs, I'm good. Uh, that's the why for me they left the impression and I think you're right create that impact so you don't have to work harder you have to work smarter and I think this is time to so start working smarter so when you do put your stuff people will recognize you because it's all consistent and it's not just about your logo and the colors it's everything it's the colors the messaging is the logo it's everything together as a package that makes you stand up that you know hey I keep seeing the same thing over and over and over and over again uh, and that's what makes you stand above everybody else, you know, in my opinion, at least. Yeah. And, and I'll, I'll just say this as well. You know, when, when you get dialed in, in your branding, you become more confident as a business owner. I mean, um, yes. this is what I've seen a lot of my clients going from five, to six to seven figures very quickly because now they feel so confident with their brand that they're showing up more. They're, they're kind of, uh, they're not, they're not shameful to show their their website or the social media feed or whatever. Like their their confidence level is just at a different level, and and I think that's another thing that branding really uh, why branding is so important because the confidence of your team and things like that. You know, if your if your branding looks amateur or you know just kind of thrown together, um, it's hard to feel confident about one hundred percent. Also, your audience might not feel confident about the quality that that you're providing. So, yeah, branding is just so important. In, in, so, yeah, you know, I, I wanted to throw this out really quick, and that's why. And again, it's going back to branding. It's a lot of really helping you guys really understand the people that are watching now and later. And a lot of you guys are my members, so you know we I touch about it all the time. Uh, so there's Briovier and Monica, and there's a lot in Roger. So there's a lot of current members right now. But it's, I got a call this morning. I had a scheduled call with this lady that wants to do custom planners. And I said, the reason I'm calling you is because your products stood out from the rest. And I went to 25 different planners and your products stood up for the rest, not because of the logo, but because of the message, the logo, the colors, and the quality. So it really, really matters to me. And you know that. I mean, we work together on some of those projects. So, so that's why I think about your product. So you don't have, have a planner. That's not what we're talking about. But it's your product, that's whatever your product that you want to make it stand out from the rest because there's so much out there right now. I mean, it just, it's, you can, you ha your people have so much um, to choose from. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much to choose from, you know, right. so you got to stand out. And I know Chris has worked with five figures, six figures, seven figures. I'm not sure about eight, but I know for sure five, six, and sevens. Uh, so definitely you want to really think about how you can stand out from the rest. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the longer you wait to, to really focus on these things, um, you know, again, there's going to be other people that are focusing on these things and they're going to kind of leapfrog ahead of you in, in your industry. And you're going to kind of wonder why are they becoming so successful when I have a better product? Well, you're not showing that you have a better product. You're not. Correct clearly communicating that you have a better product. And they, so exactly. They focus on the message. They focus on all that stuff put together. And, and I understand that because I see a lot of good things over there that don't get discovered. And I also let up, you know, I'm going to try this. It doesn't work. I'm going to switch. I'm going to try this. It doesn't work. That's why they can't get clear on the message. So getting clear in messaging, who you're helping is number one. And then, yeah, everything will just follow, you know? So, I mean, this is just a taste of what Chris does. I mean, he really dives deep deep into the branding for with our members every call that he does i mean it's about an hour call or more and he dives deeply and asks her any questions and really help people grow now that's just one step the second step is you got to take action 
Yeah, because if you do something and then you got the feedback, and it's like, great, and you do nothing with it. Well, guess what? You know, it's them. And sometimes, guys, it's really, really simple. It's clean. Sometimes people try to make it too complicated. Like our, I'm going to point this out, our banner over here is right here. I mean, that's the packaging. There's nothing. Uh, uh, there's all the, only the logo. That's it. It's that there's nothing, there's no messaging, there's nothing, it's only our logo, but we work very hard to make that 90x stand out. So when people get it, I look, I got so many comments when I put the packaging out, and for me, it's like, hey, it gives me the chills. And I'll tell you why, because people said, I want to order this just because of the package. Imagine, I want to order this just to get that package, the feeling of the way we wrap it and everything else. So for me, it's huge, and I'm not just trying to show off, and you can do the same thing in your business, no question asked, and even better. But I mean, and this is what Chris does. This is what he does very good. And he really takes the time. And I know when he did my podcast, I was getting impatient. I was like, just do something, whatever. And he's like, no, dude, we need to go to the message. Each word has to mean something. And I'm so happy we did because most people at Fiverr or whatever, they just want to get paid so they don't have to deal with this and be done with it. And right. they want to send you the invoice. They don't want to jump deeper. And even after he's done everything, and I send it to Ev to send it, uh, send him a new photo, and I say, "Hey, Chris, what do you think about this photo?" Like a couple of months later, he's like, "No, no, no, this is not going to work. You're not looking at the audience. You got to look at their eyes. I mean, everything is your messaging." So definitely, this and Christy over here, Christy Love, she's also a coach in our 90x community. Chris is the man; he knows his stuff. He does know his stuff, and I know Chris. Christy actually went through a whole course or something. So definitely, Chris. Once we're done, go to the Facebook if you haven't post the link of anybody that wants to learn more about you. I mean, I know our members have you and they can always get more, but the people that don't, that are not part of our business membership uh, want to learn more. But I mean, guys, the re there's a reason I bought Chris first. Tomorrow we're going to talk to Tanya about, um, about Kim, sorry, we're going to talk to Kim about email marketing, creating your automation. And then Wednesday we're going to talk to Tanya about self-care for entrepreneurs because we all forget that stuff, which I think is important. But there's a reason. Branding is first in your business. And I cannot say there's other people do it better. I know Chris, he does what he does. And I mean, I'm, I'm so happy to have you as a friend. And I've known you for almost two years now. Yeah. You know? um, and I, I don't know. There's us. So definitely look at your brand. Look at what it needs. Find Chris, tag him, ask him, join his calls in the members. Make sure you reach out to him and, and see what he has going on and ask. But look at your brand. Don't skip that step. Don't jump to sell don't jump to create the sell space don't jump to create something if you don't have your brand completely done it just it, or at least where it's it's done in a way where people understand what it is that you're putting because people need to look at your stuff and understand what it is that you're offering them like i said yeah. the message and the offer go together yeah just like i said if you're just getting started at least at the minimum just define and stick to some of these elements and you can read re define those later you can change those later but if you're if everything that you're creating is just looking different and completely random uh again that's that's just going to hurt you as you start to grow so starting out you know if you can work with someone to help you you know define the, your color scheme get a couple fonts going um again to, to help you clearly communicate you know what sets you apart in your industry those main elements right there will help you grow a lot quicker than than not focusing on those things 100 and i want to answer a question by roger roger is, you are in our membership and chris is available not just for our members because he he's not hired by me he just does it to help our entrepreneurs in our membership but you can definitely reach out to him call chris book an appointment with him talk to him about your brand and he will help you outside the membership we're just offering that to our members and it's really something to be part of our business membership is you get chris you get chris you get tanya you get all those amazing coaches but chris is definitely there to help you outside the membership so you don't have to go just to us call him directly and say hey this is what i want to work on how do we get going and he will provide all the pricing and whatever you have going on because we're not going to go into that that's nothing but you can definitely reach chris uh outside the community Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, I don't know if he has, uh, so, so Rod, and I don't know, I want to answer that, but does Chris have a book? I'm assuming like a book book. Do you have a book, Chris? Cause that's the question that Roger asked. No, I don't, I don't actually have a, a book available. 
Uh, <laughs> not, yet. Not, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Maybe that's something I need to put together. Um, but I, but I also do my own workshops and things like that, where we kind of dive a lot deeper in, in these things and, and and really set a couple of days apart where we can define all of these things that I'm talking about. Um, but that that's again inside the membership, we, we kind of look at some of different aspects of your brand on these different calls. And that gives you the, the ability to start, um, again, defining these areas in your branding. And, and uh, But again, if, if you want to chat on the outside, definitely, you know, We'd love, to, we'd love to talk to you then. Yeah, definitely. Make sure, Roger, you connect with Chris in the, in the our membership group. And then over here, Chris, maybe after the call, when you get a chance, go in there, kind of look through the comments and give some people your website or something that they can find more of you. Uh, because I think it, it, it will help uh, as well. You know, our current members and then the people that are not as well. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it, guys. I appreciate it, buddy, taking your time. Thank you so much. I know we jumped a little bit more, but I appreciate it. We have another call tomorrow, 3, 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time with Kim about email marketing and then one on Wednesday. And then our master class is on Thursday. If you guys didn't sign up uh, to our 90X master, go to 90xmasterclass.com and you can definitely join the call on Thursday. That's where we're going to be diving in about growing your business to six figures with people that are not. Brianna said, thank you so much, Alon Chris. This was very helpful, so I love it. Thank you so much. Bria, she's a member, so definitely make sure you guys jump on his calls. And look, pick his brand, and if you need more, if you need more, reach out to him directly. Say, hey, Chris, I need more, and this is what I did. Chris, I want to do this. What can I do? And he also designed these. I'm going to show this really quick. This is uh, Emily. She's a friend of ours. He designed her cards. There's about – how many cards are there, Chris? Because I don't have them all of them. Uh, I forgot. Pro probably like around – 50, 40, 50. 50 cards, and he designed all these cards over here. Angel cards, is this what it's called? Yeah. Uh, with it's different, uh, so, so I use them. I literally use them like, dude, I come over here, and when I feel like stuck, I shuffle them around. And, I love it. Yeah. And, and I shuffle them around. I pick one, and I read the message, and I have it over here for like a week and, and listen to it and, and kind of follow the messaging and then share it. So Chris designed those cards. I mean, this guy's talented, and you should guys should definitely – Get to know him, ask questions, pick his brain, and, and try to look at your stuff. Look at your stuff that you're doing right now and see, ask yourself this question. What can I do better? How can I take it one step above what I'm doing right now? Because if you don't, then you're just keeping doing the same thing over again and trying to cut corners to get to your audience. Spend the time on your brand, messaging, colors, life, fonts, well, all that stuff. And that's what he has to do. But this is this is the level of people he works with. This is the stuff he creates. And I have it on literally have them over here, dude. I mean, I have like I have them right next to me. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm being honest. And I, I tag Emily. She's a friend of ours. Uh, and he's worked with her. And I mean, that's how important branding is through your business and essential of through your growth. Because if you don't have that and you think you can do it without it, guess again. You will not be able to. You're going to barely make it by. And that's why you see a lot of people changing and changing and changing their business. Because that's one of the elements of growing your business. That's mm -hmm. what we teach in our membership. And, I mean, and that's what we go and jump in. That's why I have Chris as a coach. Not because it's like, oh, let me just fill up spots because I have nothing to do. And he has so much time on his hand. No, he's literally spending time. Um yeah, Angel Cards, that's done by a friend, Emily, and Chris designed all of them. There's a bunch of colors over here, and each one has a different message. And I'll show the back to you because I love the colors because it lines up. I don't know if you could see good, but it's gold. It's gold. Somewhere. Right. Yeah, but but it's just beautiful. So, But that's what he does. So if you have an idea, it's like, hey, I was thinking about it. This is a guy. So ask him over here. Look for him. Chris Beltran, his name is up. Uh, so you can look him up in the membership. You know where to find him. Don't be scared. Work on your brand. Work on your message. Hey, buddy, I have nothing else. Do you, you want to share anything, your website, anything you want to point out to everybody? But I would like you to tag him as well. Sure, yeah. I mean, you can follow me on uh, on uh, Instagram, Facebook. My handle is It's Chris Beltran, um, ITS Chris Beltran. My website, chrisbeltran.me. And uh, I'll just leave you guys with this, is that you know your branding really does set the expectations of your business. Um, and, and this is, again, we kind of emphasized how important branding is, but, um, again, it doesn't have to be complicated. So wherever you are, uh, again, like Alon said, what can you make better today, uh, than yesterday? 
Um, what, where can you become a little more clear in, in what you're doing? And that's going to serve you uh, in the future. And this is how Elon and so many other people that I've worked with really scale their business because they have a scalable brand. Uh, if you don't have these things in place, you really can't uh, scale your brand, uh, scale your business because, again, you're kind of uh, piecemealing these things together. And that, that's just going to become confusing. So the moral of the story here is, you know, the more that you're consistent, the easier it is to grow your business. Well, yeah, one hundred percent. This is our focus this year. Literally, this is our focus this year. I brought in a person that does all of our messaging. That's her focus. Right. All, all that's all she does is messaging, and that's how important it is for me. Is I want to make sure our messaging is, is one hundred percent refined from every email, post, anything we're putting out there. We'll have an intention. We're going to post because we want to help, not to post because we need to post. You know, so definitely we want to make sure we focus on that. So definitely. But it starts with our brand. And even even my person that does my messaging and content creation, she's like, hey, I need all those logos because I want every email to have the logo in the same position, same place. So it's consistent. And I mean, yeah, we're talking about the logo, but I mean, everything that we put out there as well. Even, I mean, for me, it's that small R, like it's so big from people. It's like I even in every email, we include that. We right. include that trademark because hey it's part of my brand and we want to show it off and we're excited about it so those small things matter to me and like even when we pack things even when we tie things even with the order that we put it out everything is going to go through a system because you want your, your expense to get this your audience to get the same experience over and over again so hey we can keep going for hours buddy so i'm gonna let you go we'll talk soon we'll see you inside the membership Thank you guys so much for showing up. I mean, and, and let me know if you guys have anything. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, we have a call with uh, Kimberly about email marketing. I'll see you guys later. Bye. See you guys. Thanks. Bye.